Lord, the latest Lord in the Emperor's arsenal returns. You're just in time. I have need of you. My master on the Dark Council, Darth Vengeance, wants war. Not petty skirmishes that tiptoe around the Treaty of Coruscant, but open warfare. Vengeance has tasked me with finding a way to compel the rest of the Council to tear up the Treaty. Surely Sith don't need an excuse to war. On the contrary, the Emperor himself gave the order for peace. It takes much to challenge that. But I may have found an opportunity that will have the Council and the Emperor ready to act. Most think that our inability to find and defeat one man, General Karist is gone, kept us from outright victory and forced the negotiated peace. If one man can thwart the Empire, how do we show our faces in public? General Gon operates from the shadows, a phantom single-handedly preventing the fringe systems from falling to us. After years without a hint of his whereabouts, I've learned that he's meeting on Nar Shaddaa with traitorous Imperial agents. You will go there, and you will kill him. What is this meeting about? He maintains the fringe systems by anticipating our moves. These traitors supply his information. Anyone meeting with General Gon is guilty of treason and must be eradicated. We will not appear weak on this. That this man eludes us and can turn our own is an embarrassment. Then see to it that this weakness is not compounded. Without Gon, the French systems will fall. Control of the outlying planets will be a great advantage. So, to Nar Shaddaa and deliver Darth Vengeance's red carpet to war. General Gon, I'm happy to report that Jedi Knight Zarinder has landed safely on Hoth. I saw to it personally. You're a valuable asset to the Republic, Faust. Someday the rest of the Chiss will follow your lead. The rabbit comes out of his hole. Nice to see my information was correct. Men, we've got trouble. Rally around the General! Protect our allies as well. I think I can guess who you are, Sith. For all of Darth Barriss's covert manipulations, you have banged around the galaxy rather loudly. Now Barriss has finally found me. I'll have to be more careful moving forward. Your moving forward days have come to an end. The Sith attacks! You killed them all. Please, mercy. I... we will rededicate ourselves to the Empire. You all have to die for your treason. Eris, are you responsible? Was it you who took out General Gon? It was, Lord Vengeon. The fringe systems are now ripe for the taking. Such an advantage will prop the rest of the Council out of passivity. They will see war is the only answer. You have delivered to me what I most crave. Give credit where credit is due. Who dares interrupt? Barris, who is this? This is my most accomplished apprentice, my lord, and the killer of Gon. Your destruction of General Gon earns you my favor, young one. Today. I live in the moment, Vengeance. Good. Yet any moment may be your last, youngster. It is time. I will send my destroyer to the fringe systems, and they will be mine before anyone is the wiser. The order is given, Barris. Enact Plan Zero. Vengeance out. Excellent. I have waited a long time for this order. Apprentice Plan Zero is the systematic elimination of the Republic's top military leaders. A preemptive strike that will leave the enemy headless. What kind of war will it be with so crippled an enemy? A short one with a conclusive victory. That is the point. I have been tracking of the targets for years in anticipation of Plan Zero. There's no time to waste. Make ready your ship. I will contact you there. Apprentice, your targets are the Republic's six most important military leaders. There are two I must still locate. Admiral Monk, who commands the Republic fleet, and Jedi Knight Zarinder, who leads an elite squad of commandos. But the other targets, the four generals of the Republic's strategic command, are confirmed to be on the planet Terrace. You must speed there immediately. I thought you said you were prepared, Barris. 
They will be found soon enough, apprentice. You worry about Terrace. I will give you the particulars of your mission when you arrive. Barris out. My lord, I am preparing for my assault on Taris. Excellent. Your mission on Terrace is to take down the Republic's entire strategic high command. The War Trust, the four generals who implement the bulk of the Republic military forces' strategic planning, are all on Terrace as we speak. Normally, they're never together in one place. This is an incredible opportunity. Tell me about these generals. The War Trust has stretched the Republic's resources and fought us to a standstill time and again. They are master strategists. Generals Ferrer, Mentz, Durant, and Frelka should not be taken lightly. Each will likely be protected by his own elite guard, and they have all the Republic forces on Terrace at their disposal. Danger only makes things more fun. Do not approach this endeavor frivolously, Apprentice. Your task on Terrace represents the larger scale assault of your career. Moth Hurden leads the Imperial forces on the planet. He will provide whatever resources he can. Shuttle to the surface and seek him out immediately. Morph heard in the cities here. What's that, Lieutenant? Oh, I didn't see you come in. You must be the Sith Darth Barris sent. Welcome to Taris. Try to pay attention to your surroundings. Had I been an enemy, you'd be dead. I have high confidence that my command center is well garrisoned. But I heed your point. I have never had cause to assist Darth Barris before, but I have long been an admirer of his work. And yours, of course. I doubt she came all this way to be fawned on. Of course. May I introduce Lieutenant Pierce, on loan from one of our notorious Black Ops divisions. He is hands down my finest officer. I give you exclusive reign of him while you're on Taris, which I trust will accommodate your every need. Pierce, are you ready to accommodate me? It can be very rewarding. Rewarding? Is good. Yes. Well, I will leave you two to your mission then. As you proceed, if I can offer any further aid, do not hesitate to contact me. Heard we're going after the War Trust. Did some homework. If that is the mission, I'm fully prepped. I like a man who goes after what he wants. I'm steady and sure in all situations, my lord. All four of the War Trust generals are here on Taris, which means something big. But they never show their faces. Got my hands on a public scout, leaned on him, hard. He was setting up supply routes for General Frelka, the War Trust junior member. I'd like to interrogate this scout personally. He's dead. Sorry. People don't just die from exhaustion. I overestimated his stamina, said I was sorry. Been scoping the area the scout described. Several heavily armed Republic supply caravans run along carefully staggered routes. A couple of dozen soldiers could hit the caravans, pull their transponders, triangulate their destination with the equipment here. Moff Hurden can't spare the manpower, though. I wouldn't trust Hurden to tie my boots. Then it's up to us. You hit those caravans, I'll play Tech Monkey. Here are the coordinates. Caravans run daily, but they vary the timing. I'm sure you'll come upon them eventually. Hit enough and snag the transponders. I'll figure out where they're going. Should zero in on General Froker. Transmitting the Republic Caravan Transponder frequencies now. Give me a minute to retrace their routes, see where they converge. By all means, go ahead. My lord, triangulation's complete. Only one place these caravans could be going. Transmitting coordinates has to be General Froker's location. Tell me anything else important about the area. We beat the reps out of there a few months back. All we found were rank caves the pirates used to use. If they snuck back in, they're after something. Good hunting. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You got all the soldiers. We ain't fighters, just miners. Contracted miners at that. Where is General Frelka? He's the overseer, but he ain't exactly hands-on. Hasn't been by in weeks. Are you gonna kill him? Yes. You have a problem with that? Hmm. Not really. Every job ends at some point. The Republic don't pay me enough to get in your way. Believe me. If I hit the silent alarm, 
Frelk will come with his personal guard. If that's really what you want, I can bring him here. This unnecessary chit-chat is angering me. No, 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 don't want that. Here, I'll trigger the alarm. There, it's done. The general's been summoned. Now, please, just let us live. You've used up your usefulness. No! Enemy sighted. Captain, attack pattern Ot 77. Then fan out! Ot 77! Be ready to engage! Wait for the general's order! You'll find my elite troopers much more formidable than the guards and miners you massacred here, Sith. I am General Alexis Frelka of the Republic's Strategic High Command. Your incursion here violates the spirit of the Treaty of Coruscant. We have you dead to rights. Surrender. I have no reverence for the Treaty of Coruscant. That explains your clumsiness coming here. It's unfortunate you've discovered our plans, but no matter. The wheels are already in motion. Our new technology will deliver armed superiority to the Republic, and I'm ready to give my life to defend this installation. We are in accordance. I'm ready to take your life. Men, fight to the death! I know where to find General Minst. I'm heading there now. Great news. I've got some too. Scout report. The Battalion of War Trust General Durant is on the move. Odds are he's fortifying his position. Some of my Black Ops pals are back. We could have discreetly followed the Battalion to find the General. Only I can authorize such an action, Lieutenant. Nothing to worry about. The opportunity is lost. Morverdon sent a platoon instead grounded me and the boys. His forces are engaging Durant as we speak. He's killing our chances. He is your superior, Lieutenant. You are bordering on insubordination. Noted. Herden wants to update you himself. Here he is. Ah, there you are. I see Lieutenant Pierce has already hailed you. I was hoping to do it myself. Can I assume the Lieutenant has updated you? Thanks to me, General Durant's personal battalion will not be joining him, wherever he is. My hunt for the War Trust is complex. In the future, please clear such actions with me, first. Now withdraw, and allow Lieutenant Pierce and his men to scour for General Durant's headquarters. Understood? Yes, well, of course. I'll make it so immediately. My lord. We'll get something on Durant. I swear it. Good luck with General Minst. I'm here to kill you. Saya tupi nu avatikuna, chido niki togi. How can I be sure you're telling the truth? Imu puke! Eda iki tutuku no jarat rada mana mana. Staluka uba ziki tanti ruba jakta nichi. Power reactor will self destruct in five minutes. Top ting wampa la hagua kidia jekoska pakota palko. I'll just kill you and hunt for minced later. Nai batame. Tilis kachanaga wanichika kospa ini kokate. 
ki holok to chopot i kafs to andale. The power reactor will self-destruct in four and a half minutes. Bibunawa tuipi de papra wanawanga. It's already too late for you. Shani no solo. The core will self-destruct in 60 seconds. Alt code sequence initiated. Terrific. If that imposter was wrong about how much time this will take, we'll be blown to bits. Danger only makes things more fun. The reactor core will self-destruct in 45 seconds. Men, the enemy is accessing the fallout vault. Defeat the Sith and we can weather the explosion inside the vault. At least we won't be twiddling our thumbs. More fools to the slaughter. I love the thrill of killing. Hope that wasn't our last. The reactor core will self-destruct in 10 seconds. Don't worry, we're not going to die. Eight, seven. Alt code sequence complete. The reactor core will self-destruct in five seconds. Alt lock disarming. Four. Vault door airlock releasing. Three. Vault open. Are we inside? Our enemies will pay for this. Sachuta kasayali koirado kanki kong. Tutti pona pona manchi kabok nun ni slemo. Kaptulia Dapota 21 Kislim Mopayuk Tachanga. Your advisor will be dead in a few moments. Japorko Utmagisa T. Mikisa Rolo Kapana. Ni ompi put malia pedwana niop ni bobo check chupa goma. Chiliska chanaga ima che choran chike. Ukleugo chesko pakuta. Tliska taka ya oska. Guess killing you will have to be my consolation. He is here. Track General Durant's battalion. Led by Black Op troopers on a recon run. Found Durant's hideout. He's got a full battalion guarding the compound. They're establishing a perimeter of electronic defenses around the General. Do something about it. Which we could. My Black Ops troopers and I were able to slip past the perimeter before they got the systems online. But we were spotted. We're taking fire. Outnumbered. Should be able to hold them off long enough for you to break through, but that's it. Bad news always brightens my mood. We'll do what we can. Knock out those defense systems. We'll hold the position for you. Or worst case, our bodies will slow down their charge. Proud to have served, my lord. Pierce out. Pierce here. They flushed us out. We're on the move. Lost a third of my men, but we're hitting them ten to one. It's still too many. I'll try to rally the men, hold the enemy off as long as I can. Pierce out. My lord, the enemy is regrouping. I'm down to three men against about 300. Hope we could take out a whole battalion, but it looks like we'll come up short. When you see him, tell Durant. My lord, I spent all my ammunition and I'm down to my last med pack. But Durant's battalion is down. So is the rest of my unit. Never seen men stare death in the face and fight more bravely. Your usefulness is ended. If your wounds claim you, die knowing that you came up short. Don't plan on dying. General Durant and his guards have retreated inside the compound. Proud I ushered you to the doorstep. General Durant, I've come for you. I'm not hiding anymore, Sith. We delayed you long enough to achieve success. We've stabilized the sea and tide cells. Now, the Republic has a new power source that gives us the advantage in this war. I'm just here to take you out, Durant. General Frelka and General Mint's sacrifices won't be in vain. This blaster is the prototype, powered by the smallest sea and tide battery. 
You're about to see just how lethal it is. Everyone, attack. You will not defeat General Ferrer. You wasted your life. I will crush everything you have built. Then I die. A broken man for the Republic. <sighs> I'm in a medevac transport. Arriving back at base. Needed to tap you. Darth Barris has made contact. I updated him. I have him and Moff Hurden on hollow for you. I wish Barris wouldn't bother me while I'm working. Tried telling him that. Found it hard to breathe. Patching him through. Apprentice, your progress has been conveyed to me, and I've been briefed on the search for General Ferrer. Moff Hurden informs me that Ferrer has relocated all of the Republic's forces on Terrace to protect his command center at the Republic's stronghold. They will all perish under my might. In good time, my apprentice. All in good time. This assault will take all our firepower. I've summoned your crew to the base. They will all be utilized. And I've informed Moff Hurden that you are commandeering the entirety of his forces. Yes, right. They are yours to command, my lord. I have longed to lead an army. You will now sink your teeth into full-scale war. Rendezvous with Hurden, Pierce, and your crew at the Imperial base. There is much planning to do. Be swift. I'm here. Let the war begin. Yes, time is of the essence. Lieutenant Pierce, Captain Quinn, bring my apprentice up to speed on our enemy's activity. Yes, my lord. It's a fairly complex situation. General Ferrer, the War Trust's most senior member, is garrisoned in a fortified wing of the Republic's main base. He's got a huge army protecting him. More reinforcements on the way. We're outnumbered eight to one. My lord, the lieutenant's statistics are inexact, but the general thrust is sound. The numbers favor Ferrer, but there are ways around that. Does Lieutenant Pierce rub you the wrong way, Quinn? I'm sure it's just a product of his enthusiasm. Now. To maximize our chances, we must coordinate three simultaneous strikes. One will destroy the base's power station. Another will sabotage its spaceport force field to thwart any reinforcements. And the last will force the conscripted regiments of Ferrer's army to flee. That sounds simple enough. Quinn will coordinate from the base and you will lead the frontline offensive. Beyond that, decide how to assign your men. Goodbye. I'm the best choice for frontline work. You need a soldier. I disagree. If the frontal assault isn't handled correctly, your route into the command center will be clogged with run-over battlefield soldiers. In my opinion, Jaysa should join you. She can use her power to see into the hearts of the enemy and identify the insecure ranks. I want Jaysa's insights on the battlefield. Very good, my lord. That leaves Pierce and Vet to handle the power station demolition and the spaceport sabotage. If the traps and mines that protect the power station aren't circumvented in time, you'll be under constant turret fire inside the Republic base. Pierce, since I denied you your preference, choose which of these assaults you want. I know how the Republic systems work. I can sabotage their spaceport. And I can dismantle the traps and mines at the power station with my eyes closed. But, uh, I'll keep one open anyway. Unless Pierce locks the spaceport force field, Ferrer's reinforcements will arrive in time to fight you inside the base. Won't be an issue. Assaults have been assigned, my lord. Once you've cleared the way on the front, invade General Ferrer's command center at will. Let's get this war started. My lord, any final words for the troops? I'm about action, not speeches. Brilliant. Good luck, my lord. I'll be coordinating the attacks via hollow. Don't worry, Captain. The real soldiers have got this one. All alert. The enemy is sighted. <laughs> Sith, you are massively outnumbered. You will not invade General Ferrer's headquarters. Turn away at once. Jason, use your power and scan Ferrer's forces for the weak link. My pleasure, Master. Most of these dogs are brimming with strength and conviction. 
I sense hate and a willingness to die for the Republic. Ah, uh, not so fast. There, an entire column of soldiers who are forced to be here. They will definitely run if singled out. I've decided to stray from the plan. We can destroy the entire army. All attack! My lord, I have updates from the other fronts. I'm pleased to report that the Republic power station has been destroyed. Vet went through their traps like they were infant toys. From her report, I doubt anyone else could have achieved it. You were right in assigning her to strike the power station. I know what I'm doing, Quinn. That is abundantly clear. With the base security systems down, you'll endure no automatic turret fire on our way to Ferrer's command center. On the other front, Lieutenant Pierce was able to sabotage and lock the Republic spaceport force field controls. Admit it. Part of you was hoping Pierce would fail. I would never allow my personal feelings to color my hope for victory. Now, when Ferrer's reinforcements land inside the base, they'll be trapped behind the force field and unable to join the fight. Still, the General's elite guard clonks the way to the command center. They are quite formidable. Danger only makes things more fun. Then this may be the most fun you've had yet. There's no time to lose, my lord. Forest Command Center awaits. Good luck. It's time for you to join the rest of the War Trust, Ferrer. Quite the contrary. After you took down my fellows, I knew my only chance was to delay you. And my gambit has paid off. I bought enough time for my technicians to solve how to stabilize Seantide cells of any kind. The future is upon us, Sith, and you have the privilege of bearing witness. Enemy sighted. Weapon systems targeted and locked. I've handled war droids before. Not like these, you haven't. Sea and Tide technology increases the strength of whatever it powers tenfold. The Republic fleet and arsenal will make your weapons obsolete. The Empire will have no choice but to surrender, which you should do now. How about I attack instead? Engaging all weapons. Beaten, General. I can't believe it. All this work. All this death. For naught. I wish I could sit around and discuss where I went wrong. But a good leader always has an exit strategy. Not so fast, General. I thought you might try to run. I can always count on you, Quinn. I surrender. I expect to be afforded the treatment promised to prisoners in the Treaty of Coruscant. You're not my prisoner. You're my victim. Nice to see generals scream when they die, just like anyone else. Congratulations on the success of your mission. Taking down the War Trust is an incredible victory. It is clear you are the future of the Empire, and I hope you will count me among your closest allies. You are insignificant to me. Ah, yes. Well, perhaps this will change your opinion of me. As a show of support, I place Lieutenant Pierce under your command. He will be invaluable in your domination of the galaxy. Works for me. Done what I can here on Taris. Glad you're willing to let me go, Hurden. Hurden's not giving you to me. I'm taking you. That works too. You won't be disappointed. Lieutenant Fallin, I will brief you on how things work here when we are back on the ship. Can't wait. 
Apprentice, the War Trust dismantling has been your finest hour, but a new challenge arises. One of our missing targets, Admiral Monk, has revealed himself. As you may recall, my master Darth Vengeance set off to conquer the fringe systems and inspire the Dark Council to reignite the war. Somehow, Admiral Monk caught wind of the plan and was waiting in ambush. He is laying siege to the flagship as we speak. Let your master iron out his own mess. My master is your master. His messes are our messes. Plan Zero calls for Admiral Monk's head. This may be our only opportunity to crush him. Our flagship is commanded by Moth Maskin. Fly to the space battle immediately. Board his ship and stop Admiral Monk's siege. Moth Maskin, I presume. Darth Barris sent me. I've liberated your ship. Where is Admiral Monk? Well, well. Come to inspect the scene of the crime, eh? Admiral Monk and his top men jettisoned down to Quesh. I'm so sorry you missed him. Are you here to deliver his reward? Offer congratulations? Is that your best attempt at gratitude? You think I should be grateful? This was a secret attack, yet I come out of hyperdrive to find the Republic's most decorated admiral laying in wait. Admiral Monk had my force field and docking codes. This stinks of a setup! Exactly what are you suggesting, Maskin? You know full well what I'm driving at. Your master's master is Darth Venger. Barris manipulated him into this attack in order to ruin him. I've had a bellyful of Sith infighting, always undermining Imperial operations. It's why we have yet to crush the Republic outright. Let me end your suffering, Maskin. Drums, men! The Sith attacks! What does Barris think he's doing, sending you here after me? Is he trying to make it look good? Give himself an alibi? Because you can tell him, mission accomplished. Almost all of my men are dead. You've done a great job making this look legit. Now back off! You're in league with Barris. Aren't you smart? Yes, of course, idiot. These are my senior officers. We all defected over a decade ago and have been working for Barris since. But wait. He didn't know this? He didn't tell you we were following his command? He tells me everything. Then why? Tell me, after so much loyal service with our covers intact, why is he doing this? All that matters is that I've been ordered to kill you. Men, we've been betrayed. Fight for your lives! I pity you, his blind, obedient lapdog. No one's safe with Barris. Not even you. If he tries to betray me, he's in for a big surprise. So naive. You're nothing. Nothing compared to him. Apprentice, my master Darth Vengeance is distraught. With his covert attack exposed, the Treaty of Coruscant has been broken. And apparently, Moff Maskin did not survive Admiral Monk's ambush. What happened? It seems to me there was more going on here than you led me to believe. Figured it out, did you? Yes, Apprentice. Admiral Monk was my minion. And I orchestrated the ambush and Darth Vengeance's blunder. Don't let this newfound knowledge confuse you. Tell me you're not actually working for the Republic. <laughs> that is most amusing. No, Apprentice. I am most decidedly not with the Republic. I understand your desire to know more, but I must keep this affair my own for now. All will become clear soon. Now, the final Plan Zero target has been discovered. The hunt for Jedi Knight Zerinder takes you to Hoth. Contact me when you arrive.